Hey, hey, Casey Ray here, and today I am following through with my promises, and I am giving you another Sparks Joy or Killjoys, aka my favorite things and not so favorite things, and things I'm getting rid of, and anyway. The first thing on my list of Sparks Joys, yes, we're going to start with the good ones this time, okay? I have five Sparks Joys and one Killjoy. So as always in these videos, I like to give you tangible items and also things that are not physical items. So like song suggestions, YouTubers, etc. The first item on this list is a song. It is the Khalid song, Silence. Khalid and Marshmallow. Anyway. I really like this song, it's catchy. I found peace in your eyes, can't show me there's no point in trying. I love his voice, it's real good. I hope I don't get any copyright strikes for that, but that's what I've been jamming to lately and I wanted to share it with you guys. Moving on to the next thing. The next item that sparks joy for me is my wooden wick candle. It's not a wood wick candle, but I found it. Hang on, let me grab it. I found it at TJ Maxx. It is the Manly Indulgence Azure Sand. So it smells really clean, but also has a slightly masculine smell. Not super masculine. It's a nice, like, maybe unisex is the word. So I personally don't like anything really floral, really fruity, um, any kind of girly smelling candles. I tend to gravitate more towards the more masculine smells. I really like this one. This is actually my first wooden wick candle and I don't know where I've been, but I'm not gonna buy any more plain wick candles. This thing has been burning for like a week straight. <laughs> not literally, but I do light it every single day and it burns for hours and I have used up a good bit, but I'm telling you guys, this thing has been burning forever. If it was a normal candle, it would have already been nothing. The wick would have been gone and it would have been all burned up. So I'm only gonna be getting wooden wick candles from now on. I did get this one at TJ Maxx and it was like $7.99 or something like that. I got this one and another one and I will, a bit <laughs> I will be letting you guys know um, how that one is. But yes, this sparks so much joy. It just, I love it. Anyway, the next thing on my list is a YouTube channel. You guys really need to check out Jamie French. I stumbled upon her channel last week, actually, and I've been binge watching all of her videos since. She is a beauty channel, but she is hilarious. She actually had a video go viral on Facebook. It was the Tiny Hands Challenge video, and she made me laugh out loud so much that I had to actually go onto YouTube and track her down. You get this blended out, just do what you gotta do, okay? My hands are small, I know. Unfortunately, she hasn't got as much traction on her YouTube channel and I really think she deserves it. So you guys go check her out. Not only was the tiny hands video hilarious, but all of her other videos are really informative and she just seems super down to earth and really just awesome. I like her and I think you guys will like her too. She taught me how to be confident in doing a cut crease and look at here, look at here. I'm confident. Really, I don't, I don't think I did that great, but she broke it down really well for me. I think you guys will really like her, so check her out. Okay, I have two more Sparks Joys. The next one is a podcast. It is the Bible Binge Podcast. So the creators of this podcast have another podcast and it's called the Popcast Podcast. That is hard to say. But in the Popcast, they actually break down television shows and movies and it's really funny and entertaining if you want something really lighthearted. But the Bible Binge is the one that I'm speaking about today because they take the same kind of, the same kind of idea but apply it to Bible stories so that it's easy to understand, it's more modernized, it's given to you in kind of a way that you can break it down and chew on it and digest it, and that took a weird turn. Anyway, it's definitely not somewhere you would wanna to go to get your Jesus feel or your theology, but if you wanna understand the stories a little better, it's definitely good for that. Now I will give a slight disclaimer. If you are an easily offended Christian, just 
don't don't listen to it because they do tend to humanize God and to humanize the people in the Bible stories. Yeah, like the question is, did Adam and Eve ever over dinner have conversations about that right. tree? Like, were there conversations like, I wonder what it is about that tree that we're not, like, there, like what are their pre they were like, precursors? I've got this thing and I feel like I want to do it so bad and I just can't freaking stand it. So on the count of three, let's say it at the same time. And they're both like, eat from the tree. I know, I want it. <laughs> if that would bother you, maybe you don't check it out. But I personally think it's really funny and I think that God has a sense of humor, and I think it's okay. They do have someone who is a Bible expert who kind of like checks them at the end of each episode and is like, no, no, but I think it's all in good fun. So if that's interesting to you, then check it out. The last thing on my list of Sparks Joys is this nifty wallet. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a big time YouTuber now, and I get stuff sent to me no, but really, I had the company Cellular Outfitters reach out to me and at first I was like, I can't accept things because this is a channel where we like to get rid of things. We don't want to bring more things in. But um, in all seriousness, I needed a wallet so bad. I'll tell you guys about that in a second. But I needed a wallet and I needed a phone charger and so I agreed to let them send this to me. It's not sponsored but I legitimately do love this wallet. I'll show you guys. Um, I am using it, so it's kind of like a faux suede, and it's this really, really pretty, like dusty blue color, and I just love this detail on it, and it's, it's not super thick. It still fits in my tiny little purse, and I don't know. I just really like it. I think it was $9.99. I will insert a picture so you guys can see how much it was. But I do have a coupon for you guys if you're interested in ordering anything. They have all types of cell phone accessories, wallets, bags. But I do think their prices are really competitive. Everything that I received was really high quality. I got three things. I got this, the phone charger, and a phone case. Hang on, I'll show it to you. This phone case is really cute, but honestly, I don't need it, so I'm going to give it to my friend. But I wanted to show you guys first. It is little cactuses, and if you open it up, it's kind of like a wallet as well. So, this is really good quality. This is a magnetic closure, and I had one of these in the past that I paid so much money for, and I want to say this was only... $7.99 maybe. If you guys are needing any cell phone accessories, any wallets, any bags, anything, if you just want to update it to something really cute, then check out Cellular Outfitters. I'm going to link them below and I'm going to put my coupon code down below as well. But yes, check them out. I love this wallet. So that brings me to my Killjoys. Womp womp. I have one item on my Killjoys and that is this. You guys, I don't need this anymore. This is what I was using for my wallet. I will be getting rid of this sad little not a wallet. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do check out Jamie's channel, tell her I sent you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. You're my favorites. Peace and love.